Okay, there, there's that thing there. Yo, oh, that baby. Oh, that baby is antique. Oh, my. That thing is old as Methuselah. Oh, <laughs> But you can see, uh, even the rocks is falling down. You can see that these tracks are not in the best condition. And they are being traveled. Um, I'm going to turn around so I can go back towards my house. <laughs> Hold on here. And here's an empty house right here. Well, it looks like they're doing some work to this one. Hey, cool. So, let me turn around. Uh, you know, I probably should go by the library, too, like during the week sometime when I'm off, so that I can um possibly <laughs> um, do some research on my house, because it's well over 100 years old. Oh, my God, y'all, look at that right there. See that wood on the side of the track or the road? Is like breaking up. Yeah, this is. Woo! I hope we don't never have a wreck and no carrying chemicals. That's all I got to say. But yeah, so <coughs> I don't know how much room or how much I can upload in one video. I might have to upload this in two parts. Um, but at one time prior to the flood. This place was a pretty nice um, little area because you can see down here where there's some really nice old, like historic houses. Um, well, it looks like there's a funeral home down there. Uh, yeah, so I must just ride along the track here. You can see all the wood here that's. You know, you can, oh my goodness, that, oh no, that looks like there's actual wood on the dang track. Maybe I should pull over and walk along here. This is insane. There's something there, too. And like I said, folks, these tracks are used, like, every day. Like, they come all night, they come during the day. Um, yeah, this is real sad here, these buildings. Um, I know I, I live right up there and I could go that way, but I'm not going to. I could ride right along the tracks and then just cut across them up there. Um, yeah, but I'm going to go across here. Okay, like I said, these tracks are used. Wow, this isn't... I wonder if I can come across here. Because it looks like they're doing a lot of work. Well, anyway, there's our water and sewer department. It's town of your bluff. They are building something here. Um, and I'm really hoping that they're, see, they're building something there too. So I'm really hoping that this little town um, gets back to its old glory. Because it's just really sad to see. See, they have the scenic river walk. It's. Uh, yeah. So, at any rate, y'all seen the tracks. Um, and I'm going to try to get an appointment for the museum. And, you know, uh, and y'all know I live right up here. Because I'm right by the river here. Um, but they have some beautiful houses. Like, really nice, big. I mean, like, these people years ago would have been considered wealthy people, you know? Like I was told that a judge or something owned my house, and that, that's why I'd really like to do some research on it. All right, well, it looks like I'm back at the house, so I'll talk to you later. Okay, so we're here at the museum. This is the railroad train, and now I'm not sure if they charge to come in here and how much. But, uh, I'll let y'all know in a minute. And hopefully they'll let me record. All right. Okay, everyone. So this was here since 1897. Reuben Brown House, Preservation Society, Columbus County. It's a historic landmark. 
and they started the museum in 1992. Okay, just wanted to show y'all that before me going in. This is a library, y'all. Looks like a house. I didn't even know we had one. Okay, well, let's see.